Uh, welcome back to the channel Empower Trading Solutions. I'm always Wilson. So uh, today I'll be talking about pharmaceutical inorganic chemistry uh, group one elements to be again a short presentation. Presentation. Uh, of course, we know group one elements. They have one electron in the outermost electron layer. They have the alkali earth, earth metals, which are the which are more reactive. I remember we did this practical in in. Uh, in a level where we put sodium in water and then start burning like nothing. That's why they are kept under oil. They have sodium, potassium, lithium, rubidium, cesium. And the group one would be they have silver, copper, and gold. Gold was once used in management of arthritis, but it is no longer used. Of course, we know silver is in those acoustic pencils. Now, group one elements will be, I'll talk about them as halides because eh? they, they can't you can't talk about them separately they are so reactive sodium chloride potassium chloride the iodides and the bromides now let us look at the chlorides of course all of us know that these salts exist in nature in uganda this one can be found in katwe uh and then uh, yes can be found in katwe or we can use a uh, salty water and then we evaporate this, this sweet uh, sea salt eh? but formed by this reaction so they are bicarbonate plus hcl you get the chloride now what are the pharmaceutical uses of these chlorides of course we know that sodium chloride is given iv to replenish fluids so all of us know it sterile bottle the mills or they use in intranas they use intranasally relief nasal the condition now uh, potassium chloride is used to collect hypokalemia and cardiac arrhythmia due to digoxin toxicity so this one but can they be used interchangeably this is a question for all of us if I if I if, if I if I don't have potassium chloride can I use sodium chloride based on the uses can they it's a question for you to find out now, how do you test for the chloride ion? Of course, we use silver nitrate in uh, in pairs of uh, in pairs of nitric acid, forming white precipitate, which is soluble in ammonia, sorry, in ammonium hydroxide solution. I showed here. You get this salt. It's a precipitate. When you add the ammonium hydroxide, you get uh, you get a soluble precipitate. Let us look at the bromides. Now, uh, the equations which, which I didn't put here, they are very many long equations, but of course it is prepared by using iron treated with water and excess bromine, solution is evaporated, and sodium, bic and so and sodium carbonate solution is added, or potassium bromide solution is added, and then purified. That those equations, they are very many which, which can easily be followed. However, their use nowadays is limited, but uh, can be used in veterinary as anticonvulsants. Bromine is tested using the same, the same, uh, the same silver nitrate in nitric acid, but it's slightly soluble in ammonia solution. We can also use the bromate. This one to test for presence of the bromine. We also uh, test for sodium bromide. Now, if I give you get a yellow layer, it means that bromine has been released because this is an oxidizing agent. It oxidizes. The sodium bromide into individual components, and of course, the same thing with potassium bromide. Now, the iodides they are prepared in the same way with as uh, the as the bromides. Now, what are their uses? What are their uses? There is the management of hypothyroidism and goiter, and also in prevention of radioactive poisoning. Uh, in high risk location areas like near nuclear plants, yeah, here in Uganda we don't have these nuclear plants, but maybe in Fukushima, Japan, uh, Chernobyl, in Ukraine, and maybe those other countries which have nuclear energy, they can use uh, uh, the, the the workers can can constantly use so this uh, sodium uh, sodium potassium iodide sodium iodide to prevent the 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 thyroid gland from radioactive poisoning. Tested using the same silver nitrate and and uh, 
silver nitrate pairs of so nitric acid you form as a white side a yellow precipitate but this side stands is soluble in sodium hydroxide again with the same sodium iodide an oxidizing agent where it is iodide eh, which is a brown air yeah. the impurities we have calcium and bromide which can be found in these salts of course uh, they are tested using sulfuric acid and if they are present you get a turbid solution as shown here Iodide in chloride is tested using ferric chloride, ferric 3 chloride, and the violet is observed because of the use of iodide. Bromates and iodides, of course, they are tested using as shown above. Hmm? And of course, uh, the, the, the equations are the same. And there are also other impurities which you can find out. Assay, how do we Determine the quantity of the sodium chloride or potassium chloride. We use argumentary or Moham method. Now, um, later on, we shall be having these presentations of argumentary and Moham or Volhard. We shall be having them in our preceding presentation. Uh, we first form white precipitate with titrated with potassium dichromate as, as an indicator. And of course, the quantity is determined using quality. Calculation. This is titration method. Storage in jars and dry place. Of course, we iodide will not be stored in amber color. For silver nitrate, silver nitrate is prepared by dissolving nitric copper nitrate alloy in nitric acid while while heating the while heating and later pur purify. The equation I didn't, I didn't put the equation because it's a short presentation, but I want to talk about the use. Silver nitrate is used in the cauterization of wounds, and also there is that pencil in the pharmacy. It's called, I think, an acoustic pencil, which is applied on the wound to, to burn it and remove. Cauterization means coagulating. Eh? When you put on wounds, the, the proteins coagulate and they form that seal. So, this has been a simple presentation. Uh, thank you very much. These are the other presentations we have in pharmaceutical inorganic chemistry. I wish you can research. Thank you for listening to me. Uh, it has been brought to you by M Pharma Training Solutions. Subscribe to our channel in case you have subscribed. Thank you so much. Contact us on the emails and WhatsApp number. We shall get back to you. Thank you.